Welcome, Taurus, to your Astro Dice reading for October. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you in your Astro Dice. Best message for Taurus, please. Best message for Taurus. And for those of you who are new, this is where I take astrology with tarot and make a small horoscope for the month. planet coming out is Mars. Wow. With some Taurus energy coming out in the fifth house. Wow. So going straight over here to this Mars. This is your physical energy, drive, strength, and fighting spirit. Gonna have that drive going through, guys. I'm going straight Taurus style over here where it's a little slow, but it, it is yet predictive, right? So it shows the energy around you is abundance in nature. It's rich earthly and productive yet relaxed and slow and also because we're talking about that fifth house we also want to add that nurturing to it um because anytime you want to talk about the fifth fourth because anytime you want to talk about the fifth house you want to bring in that nurturing right because of that venus energy horses are very nurturing so definitely want to bring that in and we have wear your fun romance and create things you are proud of. So also feeling very productive also, though, within the areas of fun. So I do feel like for a lot of you, there's going to be a lot of fun in romance um, this month. Um, maybe the beginning of the month, middle of the month. We will see what's going on there. Um, but also, you know, your creativity over here, you're going to want to draw, do things that you um, are productive in bringing out that creativity of what it is you love to do, right? Okay, let's see what's going on. Actually, I think we'll use these cards, guys. Let's see what's going on in the situation. The beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month. October. And the 25th, we do have a solar eclipse, guys. I will get that reading up either before the chakras or after the chakras, just before. So let's see what's going on here. And that solar eclipse is actually going to affect you in certain ways um, around the 20, probably about the 24th or 25th, 26th. I have a feeling it's going to actually come within the fifth house. I just keep feeling that. Let's see what's going on. So in the very beginning of the month here, we have the courage, not wanting to let go of a situation, um, getting to that sacred temple. So feeling like, you know, I do have my sacred temple. It is about how I feel um, within not just myself, but within my soul, um, really feeling like this is where I really need to be, um, really getting this courage in um, to not let go of a situation, um, going straight into the middle of the month. We have commitment. Whoa. And we have hidden motivations and true love. Okay. So really pulling back the veil over here for a commitment of true love. We'll see how that's going to work out over here for you guys. Not changing the status quo. Behind the mask. And in creative endeavor is upside down at the end of the month. So that's going to be right around that. Uh, solar eclipse time, um, but there is something hidden. Oh my gosh, I do feel like there is something hidden over here. We do have behind the mask over here, um, so it does feel like someone is hiding some kind of emotions, or you are hiding some kind of emotions, or something is being hidden um, from you, um, or you to someone. Let's see what's going on. Going straight to the beginning of the month, we do have the courage over here, so You know, really wanting to walk through the forest over here and say, you know what, I have the courage to say, let's try something. Let's try this. Let's give this a whirl. Yes, moving forward on that. Yeah, let's go ahead and try this. I, I think I do want to try that. <laughs> um, not feeling like this person is actually, though, your true love. Not feeling like this, you know what, it could be a date. It could be a new person. But it's kind of funny. It's like I don't want to let go of this person. 
I think I'll try this person out, but I don't see them as my new love. So it could just be a date, right? A date or them not really showing you that they are your true love at this time. Um, because it does feel like whoever you are around over here, it could be a cancer. Um, they do feel like they're putting up a little bit of a challenge towards you to get to that sacred temple, to really want to make you feel like you are moving on. But it does feel like you are coming together, but they're just not giving you exactly what you're looking for. It does feel like you're a little withdrawn. Um, it was almost like, I want you to be more than what you are to me, but you are kind of hiding out. You're a little withdrawn from me. Um, yeah, it kind of makes you feel a little neglected because it just feels like wherever you're going, for some of you, it might be actually going somewhere. I have two cards of movement over here that it's saying we are moving and doing something, um, but it just feels very frustrating um, on this date or however it is, um, because it just feels like you're not having the coming together that you're looking for. So it's definitely not to be expected the way you wanted it to be, right? There it is again. Um, yeah, I made the leap, a leap of faith over here, but it doesn't feel like they're putting all in. And that's really what it kind of feels like. The highlights of this area over here, guys, is kind of like they, you know, I want them to come towards me, but they're really kind of, you know, um, sheltering, putting up a challenge for me to get closer to them. Um, like I said, if you're going on this date, they're going to feel a little withdrawn. Um, right. Okay. Could be another earth sign. We have the commitment over here is the judgment, making better judgment calls at the mid month. So you definitely feel like whatever this news is coming in, in the fifth house, um, there is definitely some kind of transition going on that is better. But there is a hidden motivation over here um, and determined to get to that. But you're going to start recognizing that there does feel like there's some kind of hidden motivation. It does feel like I have to rip the veil open to say, okay, so how is this really working? How is this really going to, you know, get down to, yes, down to the truth of the situation, get it balanced? Because um, it does feel like there's something that's not quite right within the fifth house. So you definitely want to feel like there's healthier communication surrounding the situation, but you're going to be very observant to figure out what it is that's going on within and around this situation when it comes to this. You have your true love and it's saying, nope, the green, the pasture is not green here. Oh no. You, the hidden motivation looks like they might be wandering away from your pasture or it might make you want to wander away from the pasture because you're noticing the grass is not green here. This is where I wanted true love, but it's not working that way. Um, there is not enough truth and balance to this relationship. I wanted more. I looked for more, but it's not here. So whether or not they're moving away from you or you're moving away from them, maybe you both are separating. Um, but you're definitely going to feel like this is not where the stable was. This is not where the love is um, with this person. It's very frustrating um, and the truth is you know how it is not going to fight about the situation though it looks like it's just going to be maybe even um, just kind of a a truce in its way just kind of we just kind of separate do our thing and this is the way it's going to be um, so and maybe it is too though over here Taurus that you realize this is not my true love Right, this is not what I wanted. They don't want to really come towards me. The truth of the matter is, as I see, I'm not going to make unwise judgment calls. Um, if anything, I'm putting my best foot forward to see the actual truth um, that this person is not what I thought. Um, I was looking for something a little more authentic within this person, and there just doesn't have that. Um, with the status quo upside down, you know, your status quo is it's. It's kind of weird because it's kind of like it's it's changing, but it's not changing, right? Um, it is kind of an interesting thing. Let me see what that card says. Because I feel like it's in the area of where you are is not changing the way you want it to change, but there is a change. I hope that makes sense. <clears throat> Let's see what it says. What the heck is the cycle? The cycle says in reversed. 
It's reverse of the time of a radical discontinuity. There is a great upheaval taking place, potentially sooner than you think. It may be of your choosing, like leaving a relationship or a job. Okay, so there it is, right? There it is. There it is where it's like my status quo itself within my overall life is not changing. But yet the relationship is taking a huge turn. And this is because I've realized this is, you know, this person is not really for me. So this is definitely closing a new door and moving on to something more healthy. And that's because there's a lot of hidden stuff going on. A lot of hidden. And it might even be your own hidden emotions. Maybe now you're kind of hiding out. Maybe you're putting on the mask, right? I don't want this. But it does, you know, this is choosing that self-acceptance. I choose me for who I am, right? But it also feels like there is something going on behind the scenes where it's, you know, it's really you really kind of looking out at things and saying, well, it's absolutely possible to do what I need to do, but it's actually really impossible for me to be with this person or for them to even maybe even be 100% truthful with you about the way they feel or however it is. So it does feel like you're, you know, kind of, they're kind of losing, um, I don't know, I just keep hearing they're not authentic, right? It doesn't, there's nothing, there's, you know, um, something to it. But I do feel in the end that you will feel more liberated to the situation. I just feel like they're kind of hiding behind this mask and you're saying, well, I don't know what you really want. Um, but we kind of figure that out in the mid-month around the 15th, 16th, 17th. And then it's kind of all illuminated. And I, I do feel like that solar eclipse is what's going to really illuminate the situation. Right, so let's go over here. Yeah, I'm just feeling a little down. You can't offer me the cup that I want. Yeah, absolutely. It's like you're looking at this cup over here and that's them and you're saying that I want that cup. You can't give it to me. It's so far off. I can't even reach for it. Where are you? And this is reaching for the cup of, within the commitment, but yet also staying faithful to yourself and saying, fine, then this is what it is, right? So behind the mask, saying, yeah, there's no great achievements over here within the situation for you, Taurus, for you, because you're coming to the conclusion saying, well, there it is. There's other prosperities out there. There's other fish in the sea. This is not working for me. You're kind of hiding something from me, so I'm going to move on. And you are. You're going to kind of like step right out of this and say, okay, well, this didn't work. Probably a good thing I didn't put too much into it um, <clears throat> with a creative endeavor with a page of coins upside down saying, yeah, uh, some of you are definitely might be messing with it, an air sign or an or earth sign. But uh, got a lot of that or a, maybe a cancer. Uh, but definitely saying because you're not supporting what I was looking for, creative endeavor upside down saying there is no more creativity. There's nothing else that I can do at this moment. But it also feels like this is what they're saying too. The fun times are kind of, kind of done, um, you know, because there's just no real recharge to this situation. Like I said, you come to this, you know, determination over here. Yep, there it is, the termination with the reflect and the reflection that you're going through. You're just saying that's okay, right? Because the intimacy of this relationship just does not fall into place. And that could have been a whole big thing too. Yeah. It's just becoming more of a burden and it's not going exactly where I want it to be. And there's a deeper understanding of exactly what you wanted and what you were looking for, Taurus, that you're going to have at the end of the month that says this is just not it. There's no green light no more. But like I said, at the 15th and 16th, when you start kind of seeing the hidden motivations over here, of there's something going on over here. I don't feel the whole truth coming out of the situation. You're definitely not going to want to patiently plan on that anymore. You're kind of moving and, you know, doing what you want. Um, it's kind of crazy because for some of you, around the 25th of the month, you might even feel this person is kind of a meanie. Um, it's kind of like dumping the meanie. I don't know. Something about, I don't know what that is. Maybe they're too sarcastic, something of this nature. It's something you just you can't really flow with. There's not a whole lot of flow. I think that's what it is, too. It could just be that you realize there's not enough um, compatibility. How about that? And that could be for some of you 
you'll know what it is when you get to that, especially when you start really thinking about it and ripping that veil open, um, that it's just not where it needs to be. There's a lot of things going on inside not only your mind, but their mind that you're going to be very aware of. Um, I think it's, there's going to be more in their mind at this time than your mind um, of what the heck just happened, but it's it really ha does have to do with compatibility. Yeah. Yeah. And confusion, you know, and it's kind of crazy to you guys. It feels like you're going to go on this date with somebody. This is for someone. If it's, you know, if it ends up not for you, just throw it away. You'll know when it happens, but it does feel like they are kind of stuck on their eggs. Um, there is a lot of Six of Cups, <laughs> Right? Uh, the Six of Cups over here are saying, you know what? You might go on this date with them and all they do is talk about their ex. Oh my God, how annoying is that? Right, guys? Um, so how are you going to fit in their shoes? Um, can they be quiet about it? Um, I don't care about your ex. So there could be some confusion over here of, of you know, them still stuck on the ex. Ooh. So now where it kind of feels like you wanted it snuggly wuggly, it doesn't feel snuggly and cuddly or wuggly. It feels almost like it's going to get kind of nerve wracking and get a little ugly. Um, and that's because it's, it, look, anytime guys you go on a date with someone and all they do is talk about what their ex-wife did or their ex-girlfriend did, um, no one cares. Why are you on this date with me? I thought you were, we were supposed to be talking about us, not them. Everybody knows that. I mean, if you want to bring it up every now and again is one thing, but to it just feels continuous. So whatever it is that they're bringing up about the past, it's continuous. It just continues to kind of push you away. Um, and yeah, you know, we're Taurus. Eyes on us. Hello. I'm a pretty little bull, and right now I'm on a date, so I want to be a show horse. Come on. Right? I don't want to hear about all these other dates or these other people or, you know. But that feels, I'm sorry, that feels what it looks like. Is that they're more worried about about all these other cubs instead of putting the focus 100% on you. That's bad for Taurus. Because no matter what, we still want to have, you know, um, attention. Um. But, you know, everybody does, right? That's why you're on a date. Okay, my friends. And that was it for you. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.